Uh, hey guys, I am going to do uh, one of the things that I was really surprised that a lot of people didn't know how to do because when my mom showed me how to do it, I felt like an idiot. I pretty much was like, how could I not know this? Like, how have I lived 35 years of my life? I'm now 36 and not know this because uh, I love eggs, but and I like them over medium or over easy. I don't like them with, you know, uncooked whites, but I like the middle squishy. So uh, when she showed me this trick, I made a comment on my Facebook page and it was amazing how many people responded going, I never knew that. And apparently in England, it's a much more common thing, but I figured I would share it with you guys because why not? So what you will need for this is um, Pam, because I'm doing this a uh, slightly different way than my mother. There is not a, a lot of butter involved. In fact, there's no butter except for on the toast that I'm going to be making. You need a lid for a pan. Uh, this does not fit perfectly and a pan. So I have this old little saute pan that I'm going to use and of course eggs. So I will be using uh, two eggs that I picked up this morning for my chickens. So then I will go ahead and show you kind of what the whole process looks like. It's very simple. Uh, the only ingredients I use for seasoning is salt. So if you like pepper or paprika or cayenne or something else on your eggs, you go. But I like mine very simple. So that's kind of what I do. But uh, here's how I make my eggs. All right, so I'm gonna turn on here. And I'm going to go to about a medium heat. So for my stove, that's between a five and three. Uh, I think whatever your stove is, is gonna be really relevant to you. And then I'm going to Pam the, uh, Pam the, uh, the pan so that nothing sticks. And um, you can get your pan hot beforehand. That's totally fine. Uh, I didn't because floor planning is not my thing. And then just uh, crack your eggs in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt because I like salt on my eggs. And we're just going to go ahead and get let them go. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a uh, tablespoon here of water. Uh, I don't need it yet. I'm just going to let them start cooking here uh, pretty evenly. And uh, let's see. Move the camera a little bit closer. I don't think my plate is a necessary thing in this particular feature. And these will cook pretty fast. Uh, your stove may be different than mine. Uh, mine cooks pretty darn fast. And the problem I have with eggs, or have always had in the past, is uh, I will get... I flipped them, right? Because I want both sides cooked. I don't like the runny whites. and uh, I am not particularly a good chef. So here, as soon as I see the bottom start to bubble and I would get kind of oh excited about trying to do that, I'm actually going to add a tablespoon of water and then I'm going to let it kind of go all over the place in the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my lid, which as I said, does not fit the best and I'm gonna put it on my eggs. This is going to allow the steam to come up and um, actually cook the top side of my eggs without flipping, which means I have this nice, perfect yolk, which is my favorite. And because the eggs cook super quick, I'm actually gonna put my toast in the toaster, put my English muffin. And uh, what I'm looking for here is, um, I'm looking for the whites to kind of start to cloud over. We're not gonna, I'm not looking to cook crap out of the bottom or anything like that. We don't want it burnt, but I do want it to uh, cook over the top so that I get the top of the egg white cooked as well. Uh, this is kind of poaching. Uh, it's my version of, I guess, my fried egg because I don't, when my mom did this, she didn't use 
hardly any water. She might have used the same amount of water, I'm not sure. She didn't add it till the very end, and she did not use Pam, she used butter, a lot of butter. So since I'm trying to, and I, I want butter in my toast, and I don't want to add the extra calories to put the butter in the uh, eggs, so I am doing it like this instead. And this way I don't get the uh, crunchy bits or burnt bottom either. So. Let's see if you can see that a little better through this way. And this is for me like one of the fastest ways to cook eggs. Like seriously. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn off the heat now. And I'm just gonna leave the lid on. At least briefly, I don't wanna overcook them, but I am gonna leave them off the heat. And I'm going to wait for my toast. Then all I'm gonna do, my toast is done now, I've buttered the toast, and then all I'm gonna do is put my eggs now on top of my uh, thing. And you'll see that since we only use a tablespoon of water, there's not like an extra lot of uh, water in there. Like it's not, your eggs aren't sloggy by any means. And then, providing I didn't put the uh, stuff in too late, Stuff. You should have a nice runny yolk, which I do. But now I can't break my English muffin. Clearly, I should have gotten a nice. But you can see here, I have a nice runny yolk. But all my whites are cooked pretty well, and. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks good. But there you go. I don't even see that very well. But uh, yeah, we'll just move the whole tripod. But see there? And that took like five minutes. I mean, five minutes for a breakfast that isn't that bad. So that is my version of eggs.